Hey guys, Spam Subi here. Before we start the video today, PGY Tech uh, thanks them for setting us this three arm section mount. Great for DSLRs, great for mounting your camera in your car or outside of it. Uh, so yeah, shout out to them. Amazing! <laughs> I got this new car part. You guys wanna check it out? Yo, what the hell are you guys doing? Dude. <laughs> hey. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Dude, I can't believe it held up. Quality. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would look like. Oh. No, this shifter, hybrid racing shifter for the CTR is like a must. Should I cover it or not? I wonder if I could do something custom here. Well, uh, Mo, do you still have that picture up? You see how he cut? You do something like that. The furthest left, so the plate that we do has to stop here, there, and then here. Here to here. Pull on this. Okay. Actually, look, it's a toy. install it upside down, custom. Hell yeah. I want to show the shifter assembly, but I don't want I don't want it to get too dusty. So we're going to figure out something. We'll figure something out. my drink. It's like, it's the orange one. Yeah. Give it to me now, slave. Hey, so we don't even need to put everything back, right? Cause it's not gonna even know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so just... What the f*** you say? What? Hey, Steven. What's up? I need an extra hand. Sweet, thanks, man. So, this is our new high-tech Mouse pad shift plate, okay? Dude, I don't even know why Steven, he's getting so many subscribers and I don't even know why. <laughs> he's not even that good. What the f you say? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Almost done. I know, and you didn't even do anything. I think Justin needs a hand. This makes my car faster, right? Yeah, no, it just makes it so you can miss it faster. <laughs> so I think the next step is putting the console on, but yeah. So we have to take this out because you're gonna do the mouse, do the mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like I'm realistic, yeah. I'm not like I'm just, just like what's in here. Why? So you can still see in, but it's not all that. Thing. Yeah, it looks it looks all ghetto right now. I bet you, chef would uh sorry. Fucking <laughs> fucking <laughs> fuck! I said the customer. <laughs> see, from a distance, it doesn't look like really really fake carbon. <laughs> now. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Set an armrest. Very uh, nice. He, he did Alcantara here, red pinstriping, and then Napa leather. You know, if you wanted leather, you could just buy a BMW. <laughs> All right, we're using the triple suction cup mount. I do have a smaller 
single suction cup mount that I use with like GoPros and stuff. This one here, triple mount, seems like a better option that you would want to use if mounting a DSLR. I wonder. Let's see if it could uh let's see if it could hold my 1DX. Okay, here's the 1DX mounted on. The 1DX is a pretty chunky camera. Obviously, you're not gonna really use a 1DX. It's uh, overkill, but just to show you, it's possible. So yeah, guys, this is the triple suction cup mount. What's up, guys? It's uh, that dude in blue. Hey, it's TJ Hunt. Stop. Hey, it's Randy from Eliminate. Hey, it's Dustin Williams. Welcome to the vlogs. What's up, guys? It's Sperm Subi. Are you filming? Oh. Yeah, I'm filming. I just want to test out this thing. It's pretty it's pretty sick, huh? If you guys are wondering, I am using a EOS Canon EOS R. Uh, yeah, this is pretty this, this is a pretty legit setup, honestly. This will make my driving bits pretty cool. Okay, guys. First off, there's the gauge cluster hood in Napa leather. Uh, the bottom is Alcatara. I asked for red pinstriping so that it would flow with the factory red pinstriping. Here are the center winglets. As you can see, OEM Honda. It's not that nice, it's just plastic. This is all going, this is gonna become, uh, that goes here. It's gonna be nice. Nice and thick. Extra thick! OEM one's not very padded. This one's gonna be nice. My good friend Aaron hooked me up. Definitely check out their stuff. Very, very good attention to detail. Lots of options. You can get fully custom interior for pretty much any car you can think of. He's done everything on my BRZ, so I figured I'm gonna hit him up to do everything on my Type R. I'm gonna need plastic prior removal tool. Phillips screwdriver, a better one ideally than this. A little towel, protect the edges from scuffing. <sighs> no, we're okay. Clips here. Get a tool like this that has like a little bit of a 45 angle curve, like right here, and just go. Yo, that is nice. Ooh. It's thick padded, bro. Thick! Clip in, and we're good. Oh, nice. Okay, it's thick, but it just needs some love. I'm only having an issue because uh, I'm the first person to do full Napa leather. You, most customers from Suede do um, Alcantara. Yeah, this looks really nice. I, uh, I, I spill a lot of coffee and like, it's so sticky, it doesn't slide no more. <laughs> Yo. What's up, handsome? <laughs> Yeah, I just had a question. How do I take yeah. this off? That's the last piece. That one, it just clips. You got like grab that really hard and then pull towards you and up at the same time. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you <laughs> look good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh shit. I don't want to break it. Oh, no way, dude. All right, Caleb's turn. All right. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> My 1DX is on the floor. Oops. Who's the bitch now? Well, we're still both bitches. You haven't gotten it off yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, something broke. What broke? Oh, oh no, it just came off. I guess this way we go in first. Oh, nice leather. Why are you squeezing me like that, bro? Wait, get out of here. I got a new shift knob. Titanium. 
nicer. Oh. This is a teardrop, teardrop titanium option mm -hmm. with the shifting thingy etched on. Uh, my friend Ernest got me this, uh, but yeah, you know, it's time for a new one. Sorry, Ernest, if you're watching this. It does feel good. It's like a lot closer. This one was down here. Yeah. Okay, guys, finishing touch. Okay, let's test out the shifter. This shifter helps get rid of the second gear grind. The Type R is pretty uh, known for its uh, bad second gear grind. Yeah, this is solid. Shift knob sits a little taller now. I like having it a little closer to my steering wheel. Oh yeah, second gear is way smoother now. How's it looking guys? Is the angle good? Hopefully not too shaky. I'd feel pretty confident using this triple mount um, with a DSLR, you know, on the exterior of the car. If I ever wanted to film like driving shots. All right guys, so this is what my interior looks like. I'm really digging it, no complaints. I also added this dead pedal dress up plate. Pretty neat, now it matches all my pedals. Shifter is awesome. So a lot of you guys saw this plate on my Instagram story and you guys said you wanted your own. Uh, me and Young are debating whether to make these. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested. Maybe if we get enough Civic guys, we could sell these or something. Obviously this is a prototype. The real version would have real carbon fiber and maybe even like a burnt titanium finish, kind of like the shift knob. Next up, I definitely want to do a flat bottom steering wheel with carbon fiber or something. Eventually, I want to do the door panels in matching leather, like these pieces. Leather sun visors would be cool with red stitching. Also gets rid of this ugly airbag warning label. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is dope.